Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Where am I at? The 5050 and silent auction table. Yes. Turning Leaf Gala. Great. And, and, and who's gonna win? Everybody's gonna, uh, everybody's gonna win. Oh, well, there you go. Everybody's See. Winner. How are you? Good. What's your name? I'm Ashley. Ashley? Yeah, I'm the Okay. And? Good. Hey. How are you? Good. And you? Good. Wow. So today's your day. So explain, explain, what are we here for? Well, we are here to celebrate Turning Leaf's 10th anniversary. We're very excited to have everyone here. It's going to be a wonderful event. We've got people from all over the city, all over the province. It's going to be fantastic. Lots of prizes, great entertainment, signature cocktail bars, exquisite menu. And we're going to hear a little bit about the successes of Turning Leaf, but also we're going to hear about what needs to happen next, some next steps, so stick around. Uh, so we're very happy to be here with you tonight. We're very honored to have been approached by Turning Leaf to host this event because of our own personal belief in it, which we can elaborate upon a little bit later. But in the meantime, we're the guys that are supposed to make you have a little fun. So hopefully we can pull that off for you as well tonight. Yeah, a little bit of housekeeping to start things off. Obviously you know about the, the auction price or the silent auction. So is that what we call it now? Rainbow auction, something along that line, right? You get the tickets out in the foyer. If you didn't get them when you came in, the, uh, we'll be selling the tickets in the room in a few moments once the dinner starts as well. Some fabulous prizes over there we'll tell you about throughout the evening, but you can check them out for yourself. And then over here at the back of the room, there are the uh, live bidding auction uh, free prize packages down there, which are also spectacular. A uh, jewelry auction, a Jets Packets auction, a women's fashion and spa package auction. Uh, which we will uh, talk to you about a little bit later, but you can go and see them for yourself and uh, have a look and invest and then make a difference in the lives of people in this community. And just before we get started with our first course of dinner, we're going to invite someone up here, are we not? Right. I uh, want to acknowledge our table sponsors as well uh, as we kick off here tonight. Lowy Insurance, Serious Benefits, Mr. Electric, Compassionate Care, Hollis Wealth, Green Valley Management, John and Brenda Mullen, Winnipeg Music Conservatory, the Cinnaboyne Credit Union, BMO Nesbitt Burns, Exchange Income Corporation, Brett Young, Kurt Wagner, and Raj Puramal. Okay. So uh, we want to uh, let, well, Larry, you bring this lady up here for us. All, all, all right. And uh, it's a pleasure now for us to introduce, to offer us some remarks on behalf of the government of Manitoba, the Provincial Minister of Health, Sharon Blady. Sharon, if you would come forward, please. Thank you. Hi, guys. Well, thank you so much. I didn't quite realize I was up here first. Well, this is a really special and interesting evening for me because I look out into this crowd, I see schoolmates and neighbors. Out in the crowd, I see folks that are tied into the Turning Leaf community. And most importantly, what I see is uh, a collection of people who are invested in supporting folks in some really tough times and some struggles in their life. For me, Turning Leaf 
has, has a special place in my heart because they're my neighbors. They're my neighbors, and they give me wonderful opportunity to brag about the work that they do. And they're my neighbors in a couple of senses. Uh, when I first ran for election in 07, we were literally neighbors with Turning Leaf, my campaign office. We were neighbors. And Turning Leaf has done so well that I can't go back and use that as rental space anymore for a campaign office because they've expanded and they've grown and they're helping more people. But more importantly than that, BJ and Julie are my neighbors. <laughs> We've got, you know, it's about kids in school living down, you know, not living not too far apart and those kinds of things. And they and the team that they've, that's been built around the Turning Leaf community are phenomenal partners in our neighborhood. They have folks living right in our community and supporting people. And they do incredible work. And I know some of the people that they've helped directly. And so, for me, they represent everything that is right and the best way to do things for looking after folks, for supporting people, and for most importantly, empowering them and helping people be a part of the community. And they do that because they live it and they breathe it and it's part of every fiber of their being. And so I am really thankful to have neighbors like them as an individual family, but more importantly, that they have, they've taken that love that they have a family and they've grown it out to turning leaf and what they do for our community. So I'm very thankful that they are a part of a larger community, part of what makes this city, this neighborhood, this province a wonderful place. I wanna thank them for what they do and I wanna congratulate them because did you ever think that 10 years down the road you'd be able to host something like this? This is really impressive. You've grown a great deal. Here's to another 10, 20, 30 more and continued growth. And thank you for everything you do to give us a healthy environment, healthy and loving people that help build our community even stronger. Hope I didn't go on too much, sorry. Thanks, Jan. Again, my name is Jennifer Biggs and I'm the director of the Supported Independent Living Program at Turning Leaf. I have worked at Turning Leaf, yes, for 10 years since the inception of Turning Leaf. I currently oversee the day services, clinical and community support programs. I would like to take this opportunity to tell you a story that reflects the work that we do and how we impact each individual at their level and help them live a safer and happier life. I've had many suggestions from our team, however I chose Susan because she comes, she has come very far still has room to grow, but has done so much work in such a short time. Many of the crisis unit participants are young men transitioning from the CFS system to adult living, often struggling with multi-generational gang involvement and everyone around them familiar with the underbelly of the Winnipeg urban th drug and thug life as well as the correctional system. Such is the case from one of my guys, I'll just call him Donnie, who remembers his father, who died when he was very young, wearing a black bandana, the colors that identified him as a Manitoba warrior from way back. Turning Leaf staff, as well as his own supports, helped Donnie navigate through the CFS plan. Donnie kicked into smart gear, he faced the justice system head on, dealt with his charges, and today, the only thing between he and Tanya being released from CFS supervision is a parenting course, which Donnie is planning to take soon. Donnie is attending his second season of school, and his baby, Maya, is the joy of his life. Uh, thanks for having me. My name is Brittany Odger, and I'm one of Turning Leaf's community sport supervisors in our community sport program. In our community program, we support adults with intellectual challenge and mental illness within their own homes and communities, supporting them through daily living skills, healthy relationship building, long-term connections with community resources, and ultimately transitioning them into the highest independent living situations possible. Oh, Brittany, just get a little closer. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Hey. All right. So the success story I'm sharing tonight is uh, of a participant I had the pleasure of working with often. 
when I joined Turning Leaf and became a community support worker, Bruce was one of my first participants. Five days a week, three hours a day, Bruce and I were scheduled together, and over the course of many months, I have become to know him really well. Bruce has been with Turning Leaf for approximately eight years, and came to us a very different person than he is now. Bruce is one of over 160 participants in our community program that did benefit from Turning Leaf support, and I look forward to watching him grow and acquire new skills that will allow him to lead a fulfilling life. Um, I have had the opportunity to grow and learn from Bruce as well. I have learned to be okay with silence. I have learned how to be patient when he wants to play the same song for three weeks straight. <laughs> Therefore, inevitably, I have learned how to rap Tupac's greatest hits. I have learned that when the moment where trust respect and appreciation become mutual, you know. And I have learned that a change is possible, small successes are big deals, and that Bruce's success story is only one of so many that Turning Leaf is proud to share. Thanks for listening to my story. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Jim Barkley, of course, is, is the fellow who put it all together 10 years ago, and well, we know what happened, and it's, uh, we, we've heard about it all evening long, so let's get Barkley up here to tell his story, and of course, plans, exciting plans for the future for Turning Leaf. Uh, the, the wireless is the good. The wireless is good. Thank yeah. you. Okay, it's on. Ready Thank to go, you. man. Hi, everybody. <laughs> How am I supposed to come up here and talk to you people after that? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> They're doing a great job. Thank you for coming, everybody. I am Barkley Engel. Yeah. How's your evening coming so far? I think everyone's having a good time. I appreciate you all coming. Um, I'm having a good time. I'm meeting a lot of new people. It's excellent. It's good to see so many, I won't say old friends, uh, some friends and family and some new friends. And I hope to get to everybody before the night's over. But if I don't, come find me. I want to make sure that we get to meet. Um, I'd like to acknowledge some of the people that made this evening such a success, if I may. It's our fundraising team. Caitlin Laybourne, who ran lead on this. Uh, my assistant, Ashley Field. Carol Grusnack, Melissa Falk, Angela McLean, Brittany Odger, Megan Granger, Megan Bowman, Ashley Legwos, Nicole Miller, Jacob Woodford, and our community engagement director, or Community Relations Director, Leanne Peters, and our Communications Director, John Moen. Can you folks stand up so we can see who you are, please? <laughs> and before I go any further, I need to make sure that I thank my wife, Julie Biggs, for walking. <laughs> for walking this path, path with, with me over the past decade. To be honest, Julie is as turning leaf as anybody at Turning Leaf, and I am very grateful for your support. Thank you, honey. Since its inception, Turning Leaf has been governed by a body called a Board of Directors. It's a volunteer body uh, that we require as a nonprofit. And some of those members are here tonight that I'd like to acknowledge. It's critical that we have a board, obviously, because we wouldn't be able to function otherwise. But it's important that we acknowledge these people because they volunteer their time and they sacrifice and they contribute a lot of energy and thought and support to us. And sometimes they're the unsung heroes. So I've got some past members here that I'd like to acknowledge. Aretha Carrier is here. Hi, Aretha. <laughs> Rod Jerzak. Rod Jerzak over there. And um, current member Jeff Sandilli is here. Where's Jeff? Hi, and there's one person in particular that has stayed on since the agency's inception, since 2005, when we were meeting in my basement and we didn't even have any clients. <laughs> Thanks for hanging on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's funny now. <laughs> but it wasn't funny at the time. <laughs> Once again, I'd like to thank my wife, Julie Biggs. For <laughs> This one person who has stayed on the board since its inception 
and has helped us guide it from, again, that very humble place to serving well over 200 clients in, in services all over this province and now into Saskatchewan. And for her dedication and service to this organization, I'd like to call on Wendy Singleton to come up, if I could. Wendy, thank you so much for putting up with me for 10 years. You're awesome. In honor of your effort and help and wonderful contribution to this agency. Patience. I, I hope that. <laughs> thank you for your patience. It's there. It is there. It is there. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. This is a, a small token of our appreciation for your service. We greatly appreciate it. Would you like to say a few words? I, I might. Please do. <laughs> I wanted to say just a few words. First of all, it's an absolute honor to come here tonight. It's an honor to sit as a volunteer with this board. Barclay is not exaggerating. There were a handful of us that met hmm, 11 years ago. Oh. Mm -hmm. In the living room, then Julie kicked us into the basement. That part's true, too. <laughs> the Turning Leafy Way reminds us that everyone is capable, resilient, and needs a network of caring support. This is a community that everyone is a part of. This is a community where individuals achieve their success. Participants, their families, and the communities we live in are all the beneficiaries of the connections built through Turning Leaf. And as you know, Turning Leaf provides treatment and crisis services to intellectually challenged and mentally ill people in our communities. And these services are successful largely because, and I can't emphasize this enough, they're successful because of the resilience, the perseverance, and the strength of the participants themselves. If you've heard some of the messages that have been shared with you tonight, it has to be clear that they seriously have got skills and fortitude and resilience and perseverance that are enviable. And unfortunately, it's what they had to have to beat the insurmountable obstacles that they had put in front of them. And I respect them deeply for that. But Turning Leaf is also very successful because of the combination of staff and clients working together. And I'm excited to share, and I really am excited to share, that this turning leaf approach, this thing that we're doing and have been able to do throughout Winnipeg and Selkirk and Portage and Winkler has caught on so much that we've been able to be the first organization in this province's history of its kind to go beyond the Manitoba borders and open up a social services experience like turning leaf in Saskatchewan. And we've been very well received. Yeah. And this turning leaf approach works very well there too. In fact, we can't keep up with the demand that's their people. So if you're a team member, a Turning Leaf team member, all the way from clinician, or is Dell, to Lisa, to all the frontline workers and case managers, if you're a board member, I'd like you to stand so that everyone can see what this team looks like and what it takes to be successful, please. Those people that are standing or just worth standing are the people that are going to help us move to the next chapter. And I'd like some of the people that are in this room that weren't standing to eventually be some of the people that are standing at some point in the future to be a part of the next chapter of what we're doing. Look, at we're doing a lot of excellent work and the people that stood are outstanding contributors to your community. So just as we did 10 years ago, we're going to do something again now, today. What can we possibly do for these individuals that are falling through the gaps, that struggle with this intense addiction? Just like 10 years ago when we were compelled to act, and it's largely because we are compelled to act because of compassion, we're going to act on compassion again. And what we're going to do is we're going to build, this is the, this is the announcement, by the way. And, and I'm dead set on this, because this is an opportunity for us for the next chapter to change lives and make sure people get the help that they need. We are going to build a specialized addictions treatment center for those living with intellectual challenge. The plan is to launch this in early spring. 
And the plan is also to have generated a substantial portion of the dollars we need, that's $650,000. So that when we launch this, when we tell the, the community, when we tell our city, when we tell the province, and we go to our provincial funders, we can say, this is, issue is so critical, it is so important, that not only have we been able to generate this level of support, but the hundreds of people that support Turning Leaf have made it a reality already. That's what we would like. Consider being a part of it. I'd like to thank you all for coming. Thank you for sharing this 10th anniversary with us. We're very proud, we're glad to share it. Make sure you have a good time. We've got time yet, the bar's still open. Signature cocktails. Get some uh, tickets for those prizes. Meet some people. I really appreciate you coming and thank you for sharing your evening with us. All the best. Uh, well, Turning Leaf affects the community because what they're doing is they're helping people that are hurting. And everybody has moments of hurt. And so Turning Leaf offers that support. They offer the compassion. Um, they offer the, the resources that are needed. And they can guide each individual that's hurting one step at a time. And you know what? I think that anybody who's been involved in the community sees that people need help along the way. And if you haven't been connected by a friend or a relative somewhere along the way who needs help, who needs help in these programs, then you've sort of been oblivious to their actual needs. And I think that's the biggest thing is to actually be aware of all the people around you and then to actually have faucets where you can send them. And Turning Leaf offers a major, uh, you know, a stepping stone to get them back into where they're supposed to be. Because sometimes people just lose their way. And it's an unfortunate thing. And like, no matter what you say as a friend or a, a family member, they just don't see it. But if you actually send them to a program, like Turning Leaf, if somebody who's a little bit objective and, and actually set out steps to get them back on their way. Because let's face it, friends and family will never listen to somebody who's close to them. They'll always take it for somebody who's more objective. And that's what Turning Leaf is all about. It's turning people around. And I guess Turning Leaf is a pretty appropriate thing because you're turning people around. Why did you participate at Turning Leaf? Uh, well, I've known Barclay for many years and it, I've always given to the community, but it's just one more avenue where I get to extend my reach into the community. Uh, my name is John Mullen and I have been connected with Turning Leaf almost since the very beginning. Uh, when I had been at Solon Mission, Turning Leaf used to use some of our space uh, for their staff meetings, which was very fun. And uh, since 2009, I've been acted as a consultant with the organization to help them with their organizational development and their public relations. And in the last uh, six months, I have been their uh, public relations coordinator. I've been very excited to help them uh, establish their footprint in the city. And now I'm transitioning on to uh, Saskatchewan to help bring supervision to their new work there. I think Turning Leaf builds community. I think one of the things that I love about Turning Leaf is it's come up from my own neighborhood. So these people are my neighbors. They've located Turning Leaf in my neighborhood. They've located some of where their clients live in my neighborhood. And so it's really about building community and giving the opportunity for folks that maybe haven't had a sense of community to have that for the first time in their lives. And that's where the real turnaround comes around for me.